Welcome to Loving Truth. We're looking at Psalm 91, and it starts out with a couple of my favorite verses. If you were to look at this psalm of 16 verses, you would get the feel of uh, maybe a believer stating their faith, their confession of faith. And then the psalmist seems to support that and encourage that. And then when you get down to verse 14, at the end of the psalm, God speaks. So it's a wonderful interactive psalm. And by the way, this is uh, from the earliest days of the church, appears to be one of the few psalms that people would pray almost every day as they would think of the wonderful text that encourages us to trust the Lord. In fact, in some senses, when you pray this psalm a lot, you're really praying what is in the Lord's prayer. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, because this is a psalm of deliverance that's found in the presence of God. <clears throat> Starting out with verse 1. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. And the psalmist seems to respond to that confession of faith. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God, and I trust in him. As you go through the psalm, you'll see that there is repeated reference to protection. I think it's four different times. The word shelter or refuge is mentioned five times. And rescue is found in verse 3, and then at the very end, verse 14 and verse 15. So there's confidence that God is our place of protection. He will rescue us, and then the Lord comes back with the affirmative, even at the end of the psalm. Now notice the wonderful imagery of verse 1. Those who live, and that's a very operative word, it's the idea that we are spending time in. It's not just visiting. It's not a quick in and out, but it's the place where we live. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest. And that rest will be found in the shadow of the Almighty. Sounds a whole like, a lot like uh, Matthew 11, where Jesus says, Come unto me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, laden, and I will give you rest. So we don't know exactly who the author is here, although the Greek translation of the Hebrew Old Testament assigns this psalm to David. We don't really know. But we do know this. When you make God your home, your place of safety, then you can truly rest. There are four div divine names given in the first couple of verses. You have the Most High, uh, that God is infinitely transcendent. And then it talks about the fact of the Almighty, that God is infinitely powerful. And when you're talking about someone to protect you, and to be your place of safety, you want someone who is above the fray, above everything else, the most high, and the one who has limitless power. You have the name Yahweh in verse 2, the Lord. That's the covenant name for God, the God who makes a promise and always keeps it, who commits himself to his people. And then the normal name for God. Uh, God is mentioned at the end of verse 2, but notice it's personal. My God. So if we think of these metaphors that are used, God is our shelter or our place of safety, our refuge. Verse 2. God is our shadow, or we are living in the midst of a shadow. By the way, you have to be pretty close to someone to live in their shadow. Sometimes we think of that as a pejorative term. I'm living in the shadow of, a, of an older brother who is so famous, and now everywhere I go, I'm, I'm called his brother. But to live in the shadow of God is a very powerful thing. It, it's a it's a blessed thing, and it comes when we are close to him. And then there's another gorgeous metaphor that is found in verse 4. 
Verse 3 says, He will rescue you from every trap and protect you from every deadly disease. He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and your protection. The wings of God that protect us are the promises of God. And like a hen would gather her chicks under her wings to protect them. So God draws us close in his shadow. And you have something as soft and nurturing as the, the wings of, a, of the mother hen. And then something as hard and protective as the armor, God's faithful promises. That's our armor and our protection. And all of these things cause us to trust in the Lord. Henry Van Dyke said this, happy and strong and brave shall we be, able to endure all things and to do all things if we believe that every day, every hour, every moment of our life is in God's hands. And that's what this Psalm says. Those who live in the shelter, the secret place of the Most High, will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, cause us to find this rest every day of our life. As this psalm was prayed by the early church every day, so we may, may we make, make it the focus of the way we live every day. In Jesus' name, amen.